Okay, so I just want to do a quick video on basically some trash closures that I've gotten. Um, so the first company is Hair Attic Online. I first time I ever got a closure from Hair Attic Online is that video when I did the Indian Deep Curly Closure. It's the first time I ever got a closure from her. Um, the curls are pretty. As you can see, the curls are pretty. Um, the knots from that closure were like very little to almost not noticeable at all. Um, so I guess those are the pros. The pros is the hair was pretty, the curls are pretty, and the knots were almost like not there. Like you couldn't tell. No need to bleach them. The cons of that closure, the lace was almost transparent. Like someone of um, any, with any kind of melanin to their skin, it would look weird. Like you would have to put some type of concealer on there because the closure is real ashy, transparent looking. Um, another thing is shed. It shed, it shed, it shed, it shed. Like I said, the knots were almost not even visible. So it was like no need to bleach it. So you can't attest it to, oh, well, you bleached it. That's going to cause some shedding. No, I didn't bleach any knots. And the closure shed, 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 shed to the point where I didn't even use it. I literally used a beauty supply star closure. That's how bad the shedding was. Um, so that's the one. One closure from Heretic Online. Another closure I got from Heretic Online was the Malaysian Straight. I bought it to wear with some straight hair. The Malaysian straight closure had nothing but super short pieces of hair in it. Now, I'm not talking about baby hairs. I mean, if the closure is about this big, half of that was just super short closures. Shoop, I'm sorry, super short pieces of hair at the top. Super short pieces of hair at the top. So, it's almost like, well, if I'm paying for a 16-inch closure, but most of the pieces of hair are this long, like you're ripping me off and then every time I try to part the hair you see just super short pieces sticking out with the 16 inch coming down here and the super short pieces sticking out it just was a mess so that was strike two strike three was the most recent close closure that I bought from hair Duck online the most recent purchase um, of a closure that I bought from her and I got the Indian curly so I'm like I'm gonna try it again because I know her Indian curly hair is really pretty so maybe her closures like maybe she switched up her closures so she did switch up her closures but I'm gonna say she switched it up for the worse now for the better the closure I just received a couple days ago knots are huge like big black knots like you could see them things a mile away so that's for one for two I'm, I'm gonna talk about the cons so the knots are super big that's kind of one number two there was like a white tag attached to it and it was really weird because I've never received a closure like that three on the excess lace part that you cut off there was like some red um, imprinted writing and like another language like Chinese or something so basically obviously you're getting your closures made in China or something to match or maybe it was Indian I don't know you're getting your closures made somewhere else to match your raw hair and I think she even has that on her site the hair on her closures isn't raw but it's steam processed to match her raw hair and I think it's very rare that you'll have somebody where it's the actual raw hair in the closure most of them steam process some hair to match the raw hair so that's not you know so that just kind of threw me off so the white tag the red writing and the super big noticeable knots so um, the pros is the curls are really pretty. The curls on that closure that I just got a couple days ago, super pretty. And yeah, that's the only pro. Oh, and another pro, I'm sorry. Her lace is a little darker, so it's not that weird transparent color. It's now like a light brown lace, um, like a light to medium brown lace. So that's a, a pro. But another con is when I bleach the knots, I'm thinking, okay, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, no. Checked if 15 wasn't ready, 20 wasn't ready, 30 wasn't ready. I just left it. It took like an hour for the knots to lift. After they lifted, it wasn't like a seamless, um, like, you know, melt into your skin look. You still saw those knots. Like, they were so swollen, like, so thick. And it just was like, it didn't look natural for one. But the biggest con, again, that closure shed 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 i had hair all on the floor from that closure i had clumps in my hand i had clumps in the brush and keep in mind the density on the closure that i just got a couple days ago is very very light so on top of the density being very very light it's shedding like crazy so within a few weeks i'm going to have little to no hair on this closure that i spent 125 dollars for not including tax and shipping that is unacceptable it's just it's unacceptable Typically, I get my curly closures and my straight closures, to be honest with you, from an online beauty supply store. And I'm fine with it. It costs me like $30, $35. That's with shipping. 
it lasts me anywhere from two to two and a half months i trash it get another one and it doesn't bother me these closures that are like over 130 140 dollars they say they're only meant to last three to six months so if i'm paying 130 dollars every three to six months and it's shedding like crazy i'm like getting three to six months of wear out of it so for curly hair i was like fine i'm gonna just stick with my go to be swag store closure that i get online that i know works well for me and i have no issues with i have no problem with it so that's hair addict online it strike i literally struck out one time with a deep curly trash it just shed like crazy twice with the malaysian straight i didn't even get that much shedding from that closure but the short pieces it was like made it un like unable to be worn and three this past time was just indian curly trash it shed 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 and the knots were huge and even after bleaching it it didn't look natural on top of the crazy shedding so struck out with hair attic online do not i would not purchase a closure from hair attic online her hair is pretty it's just her wefting doesn't isn't super flat um and then you don't get a whole lot of hair on the weft but she gives you um a great amount of weft but when you stack in all those wefts together it makes the hair look bulky on top of the fact that her wefts aren't super flat so I almost wish she would give you less wefting with more hair packed on the weft so your install isn't super bulky. But I just wouldn't buy any closures from Hair Dog Online. Next company, Virgin Hair by Labella. I know I haven't talked about them in a while. One thing I could say is the construction of Virgin Hair by Labella's closure. I love it. The density is thick enough without it being too thick. Um, but you still feel like it's a good amount of hair on it. Her lace is kind of that transparent looking lace. However put some concealer put some powder it'll be fine her knots are like barely there i don't really feel like you have to bleach her closures even after she bleached it I almost feel like because i paid for her to bleach it that's one thing i do like about virgin hair by labella you can pay for any service for her to seal your webs dye your hair color your hair um bleach your knots on your closures and frontals so it saves you time and extra step and her prices are pretty affordable so that's one thing i love about her so the pros of Virgin Hair by Labella is I love the construction of her closures. I love the density. Um, and I love that her knots are like barely there. The, and I didn't get a whole lot of shedding with Virgin Hair by Labella. That's one thing I can say. That's another pro. I did not get a whole lot of shedding with Virgin Hair by Labella. Of course, the closure is going to shed, but not. I didn't get a whole lot. The biggest con I can say about Virgin Hair by Labella, I think thus far I've only bought one closure from her. I bought her Wavy Curly, her Indian Raw Indian Wavy Curly. One thing I can say, the hair on the closure is trash. That's supposed to be raw, wavy, curly. No, it looked like some processed, crinkly, wavy hair that tried to be curly, but the steam processing didn't come out right. So, hell no. I did not like that quality of hair on the closure for Virgin Hair by Bella. But I love the, I love the construction of her closure and i love the density and i love how natural looking the knots are i just hate the quality of the hair on her closure so to combat that i would just say get some straight hair because when i tried to straighten that raw wavy curly it just got poofy it didn't get silky straight like some raw hair would it just got poofy so to combat that i would say just stick to her straight closure don't try to get wavy. Don't try to get wavy curly. Just stick to her straight or maybe like a body wave, something that would flat iron really easy. Don't get her curly closures unless you plan on wearing a curly. Don't get her wavy closures unless you plan on wearing a wavy. Otherwise, get like a um, straight closure and then add some waves and curls to it. Um, but yeah, that's my experience with buying closures. If you have any questions, you can leave them below.